Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who Who's on Indie. For teaching tactical survival indie games with your face hole. Today's impression is Flycore. This is the main version of the game before I play the demo. So we're going to do your local country challenge where you have to unlock a new country every six minutes. So every six minutes we have to unlock a new country. Let's start doing it. The game is pretty simple. You draw a line between different cities or hubs and a plane travels between them. Each line is a one plane. You can upgrade it by buying more planes or you can upgrade the plane to be faster and carry more people. The game is lost if any one of your cities or hubs goes over the amount of people it holds. If I get 50 people here, I have 10 seconds to either upgrade it, which gives me more people, 100 as you can see, or get them out of the place. So, you lose once you've done that. This is the six minute challenge where I have to lock a new country every six minutes. Pretty simple. And as you can see, you can see where they're going. So your people will only pay you the money when they get where they want to go. So these 10 want to go to Berlin, they won't pay me if they go to Stuttgart. So yes, people only pay after they get where they want. It's a difficult one, the challenge, I thought I'd show it. As you can see, that's already gone yellow. This is a problem because this is quite a long run. I may have to upgrade it. Oh, that's already red. Oh, so yeah, as you can see, things are coming along nicely. People are travelling, that is already red. That's a main one, I may have to upgrade that. Yeah, in fact, we're going to upgrade that. So it will be hosting an air show, 267, yeah, sure. Cost me more than I'd like, but we're now doing that. Frankfurt now exists. Now, the big thing is you can upgrade your city to have more people, to upgrade your plane to be faster and carry more people, or you can add more planes onto the line. You can also bid to become the new mayor. Each one of these names is a player. Which is why this was called by Big Boy, and this one is Lunatic Crown 17328. Oh, that's, that's annoying. So as you can see, I could become a new mayor, but it'll cost me ballots. I don't have any ballots. Ballots, as you can see, or an in-game currency. <sighs> Thousand ballots for fifty dollars. So if you want to own a city for thirty days within the game, right now it'll only cost you ten ballots, ninety-nine cents. So you know, that that's a thing. That's a thing. Now because of that uh, event where they didn't give me any new people, I'm probably going to have to restart. Because there's no way I'm going to get 300 to unlock Belgium in the next one and a half minutes. Which is a shame. But there you are. So yeah, I just got screwed out of that. But yeah, so if you want to name a city after you, as it will get, you know, mail stuff going on. Yeah, you just pay. Just pay more money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. So because of that event... So some events are good, some events literally just screw you over. And as you can see, every time you restart, it changes which cities you have available. Which obviously changes which routes you have active. Because obviously now I have to pay more money to unlock this route. So sometimes restarting will give you an entirely different lineup and probably ruin the beginning of a challenge run. Which in this case, it has. Because obviously now I have to spend 105 just to unlock this. But, you know, maybe more people want to come from Stuttgart. And Essen. Maybe Hamburg is more popular. Who knows? All I know is you need to get the planes going, you need to get things running, and you need 300... It's, it goes up every time you unlock a place. But obviously, the more cities you have to go to, the more money you make. The more countries you have, the more money you make. It's basically that. So obviously, more people start flying, so we need more planes on the line. But it's just... Could I forecast we could take by two times for a week without losing demand? Shall we do it? Yes. So I spent money again. And there's Frankfurt. Let's see if this actual event helps me or screws me over yet again. But there is... Succeeded, passage things being increased by two times. Number of passages on the same level as before. Huh. You're paying more. Let's... Uh, we haven't go to Essen. So what you're doing is, of course, just constantly expanding and growing. There's no real challenge apart from just trying to keep the numbers op optimal. You don't have sudden issues unless a random event tries to screw you over. So once things start going well, that's it. Yeah, I know I have less than one minute. Come on, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. There. Come on. I need to unlock Luxembourg, and then Luxembourg is unlocked. There we go. Six more minutes. Let's have Essen be a hub. So Essen is probably going to have to be upgraded, and so are the planes. 
So yeah, that's the game. There isn't really much else to it. I've done it before. It hasn't really changed, but the fact that you have to pay money to become, you know, upgrade that. You have to pay money to own a city, which is a surprise. But here we are. Next up, got another one. So Essen is now a primary hub, so I have to upgrade that. There we go. That can now hold 100 people. Next is 300. Obviously, Hamburg and Berlin will be next. I can have to upgrade this as well, because Berlin seems to have a lot of people. And so does Hamburg. Owned by error. And this is how the game goes. 321. Not increased that much, but it has increased. Upgrade you. Gives me time to slowly start expanding. Now, obviously, as you go through, things will get significantly more insane as you see more and more things on the field. But... It doesn't really change how things go at all. Oh, there we go. You still have the exact same thing, it's just more and more and more. Let's have that go to Berlin. Let's make Berlin and Stockholm a main one because obviously big cities. Cost of fortune, no, 207 to her. And yeah, that's it. Obviously, this is the challenge, like I say, so I could push myself to stop forcing myself out of anything, but... Yeah. There really isn't much else to it. Upgrade the planes as and when you need to. Upgrade the cities as and when you need to. New airport's been opened in Nuremberg. Huh. Okay, let's make Stuttgart and now a hub. My god, it's actually getting a lot of people. And yeah, that's it. Just starts getting tougher when you add more people, and that's about it. Okay, we have to start upgrading these. And yeah, not really much else to say. Just still talk about it. This is literally the whole game. How far it goes up to you. If you need to turn off now, I completely understand. I've shown you the game. Okay, that's much faster and larger. Upgrade you. Upgrade that. Upgrade uh, Berlin as well to level 3. Essen as well to level 3. That gives more people. Who's running this one? My god, that's just a number. And yeah, there we are. Oh, first Luxembourg are cancelled because of huge migration of rare bright ringed pigeons. Got paid 35. Leipzig, go to there. Okay, that one's starting to go red again. Let's upgrade you to the next tier. As you can see, they get a lot faster, an awful lot faster. Uh, Luxembourg, let's connect to Essen. Uh, Brussels, also connect to Essen. Let's upgrade Stuttgart, because obviously that's now a hub, that's now tier 4. I can have up to. Uh, tier 4 is next, 1,000 people the next. Let's actually upgrade you so you're faster. Yeah, it's quite relaxing once you get the whole flow of it. Obviously, it's a bit less relaxing when you're playing the challenging version, but you know. Gothenburg. Let's have a go to Stockholm. There we are. Nice and simple. Then we get Norway unlocked. Yeah, there's really not much else to say. This is it. Literally it. I was expecting a little bit more after I played the demo, but... Apparently I was just confusing myself. So you've probably already figured out now whether you like it or not. Do that so people can now travel multiple different places because you don't have to pay for the upkeep of your planes or the upkeep of your stations as it were you just pay to buy new things there is no upkeep so once things are flowing happily that's it i could probably unlock the entire world pretty easily over a given amount of time 
It's just making sure the planes are being run, you know, without issues. And they have become a few after a while because of numbers. But then you just buy another plane or upgrade a plane. That's all it basically boils down to. It opened. In. Okay, let's get Stuttgart. Let's upgrade to Stuttgart so I can have more people. There we go. Stuttgart's now a major hub. Upgrade you. Can I upgrade you again for 300 people? I might as well, but then Hamburg could get easily overwhelmed. The people are now travelling in between those two, which is good. Yeah. Not even much else to it. Money's already flowing through quite happily. Uh-oh. Upgrade Copenhagen. I forgot, because things are now going through it, that's actually going to be quite an expensive hub to keep running. Olympic Games being held in Germany. Number faster than this flies faster. So yeah, everyone in Germany now wants to be really there. Amsterdam. Huh. But you still got to keep an eye on things, like you saw there. Copenhagen, I didn't upgrade, so it was a bit of an issue. But otherwise, eh. Just eh. An open in our house. Hamburg's becoming an issue, upgrade it. Upgrade you again. Nice and simple. Moving even faster now. Look at them fly. But yeah, there's not, there's not much else to say. Things are running really happily. The only issue you might actually have is, you know, having to keep the stations upgraded. Stations, the actual airports, and even then we've got plenty of money for it, just in case. Austria's next. And Austria will be a bit of an issue because I'll have to travel through some places, but, you know, apart from that, it's fine. Vienna via Munich. Probably via Berlin, if I'm honest. Let's just make Berlin a hub. What of six but recommend you upgrade all first class okay. Okay. Just cost a fortune, but we've done it. Graz is now an issue because of course I can't do anything for poor. So we're gonna have to wait a minute or two. United Kingdom. Looks like a drunk person wearing a weird quaffy hairdo. And there we are, back to normal. 53. Done. Yeah, it's very full. Let's upgrade Vienna again, just in case. My god, a lot of people want to go Vienna. That is being completely full nearly every single time at a hundred people. That's madness. Absolute madness. Let's upgrade it again, I guess. Two ways to go there now. Stockholm's getting fireworks this festival. Awesome. We'll grab that next. Go to the UK. Back to my home world. That's why it feels like a home world because, quite frankly, they're trying to make their own little special place for themselves. It's not that good. Let's go to Brussels. There we go. 
burn-in is still becoming an issue. Yeah, this is the game. There isn't really much else to talk to about it. It really is what it is. 86 people to Stockholm. Let's get another plane. Why not? A new airport has been opened in Birmingham. Oh, cool. But yeah, there's really literally nothing else to say. This is the whole game. There is no change. You just start buying places. And as things get slightly worse, you know, you build more things. What else can I say? So yeah, this has uh, been a look at the full version of Flycore. There isn't much to it. Flies of Swift all plays on first level. Come on, that's me to surprise you can need. We can replace first level 50 cent discount. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? But it is what it is. So of our first level planes just got upgraded. Yeah, Birmingham International Airport. No, it's like two, is it three in London? Can't remember now. There's Heathrow. But yeah, that's it. So this is Flycore. I really don't have much else to say. Bit sad, but there you are. I literally do not have much to say. Mayor Stewart. Buy ballots. I don't. Do I even stop any ballots? Ah, huh, I had started off with four ballots. I have a 60 minute protection period and the main time is at 30 days. So Fallen Shogun now owns London. Switzerland. Yeah, I don't really care. I've already ended. But yeah, that was uh, Flycore. I literally didn't. <laughs> I just lost interest at the end. It might be for you. It's not fully for me. It's relaxing is what it is, but... Yeah. On 1059th. It's just not really. Let's see, is there anything in the free play? Mode without country, start country, transport network, it's completely on you. So, it just. Let's start the UK. So, there's no end game to this one, apparently. Yeah, there's no end game to this one. Uh, you don't lose, it's just free play. So there is nothing else to the game, that is it. I mean, I've been the Fallen Show, give it a first impression. Flycore! Eh, not too much on the table. It's fun, but there's not too much on the table. You'll probably get bored pretty quickly unless you're trying to do the challenge mode to unlock an entire world and not drop the ball. But either way, cheers for now, be awesome, be epic, be amazing, and I will be seeing you sometime soon. Stay safe out there, it's getting dangerous yet again.